Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I wanted to do a quick video on this. Went out to, to a bunch of thrift stores today with Robin. A bunch being a relative term. Went to a couple anyway. <clears throat> Stopped at Arby's for lunch and uh, hit some thrift stores. Anyway, I found this for five bucks. And it is a, it's called the North Pole Express. It was brand new, unused in the box. And interestingly enough, it is O-Gage. And does that not look like marks to you? Now, the interesting thing about it is it has plastic knuckle couplers that will couple perfectly with marks, plastic knuckle couplers. Anyway, so I uh, basically bought it so I could snag these cars, put some real trucks on these things. You got some really decent cars for five bucks. Anyway, it came with this little tiny tender and the locomotive. Now, the locomotive runs on two D-cell batteries. I mean, it's a toy. But in the uh, box, of course, is all the track. Now, this is O-Gage. This would actually be perfect for running a Mark's wind-up on. No doubt. So anyway, just for the parts it contained, it was worth the five bucks. Let me get this box out of the way. All right, so anyway, I put some batteries in this thing. It does run. As you see, anyway, what I'm planning on doing is taking those cars and putting uh, very likely Lionel Mark's trucks on it, don't know yet. And it has plastic wheels, it's not built very well. But the uh, cars themselves are actually a fairly decent quality. And again, it is very reminiscent of Mark. So I'm not sure who made it, but whoa, stop. All right, there we go. Anyway, as you can see, it is really reminiscent of how Mark's made their uh, late uh, plastic cars. And these uh, couplers will couple with standard Mark's plastic knuckle. So I have no idea who made this or when. Anyway, it was five bucks at the thrift store. I figured if nothing else, I was going to snag those cars out of it. I could probably put a motor in this shell. It isn't a bad looking shell. It has a working headlight and uh, runs on two D cell batteries. If you put the batteries in backwards, it runs backwards. So anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. North Pole Express. Like I said, no idea who built it or when, but uh, we were walking through the thrift store. It was sitting on a... Uh, Top of the counter, five bucks. So anyway, it was worth the five bucks. Like I said, I will very likely pull these trucks off and put uh, real trucks on it. And uh, like I said, these uh, couplers will couple with Mark's plastic knuckle, which is really, really surprising. I think it is so similar to a Mark's uh, design that uh, it makes you wonder who made this and when. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video. I'll run it around again. Uh, on off switches over here, as you see. Anyway, I just had two old D-cell batteries, so I stuck them in there. But as you see, it's definitely old gauge. So you put some decent uh, trucks on those cars, and you would have a fairly decent uh, uh, consist for running around the tree. Anyway, I'm sure I could improve the performance of this thing. Anyway, I thought it was really, really interesting, so I thought I'd do a quick video. You would swear that this came out of the Marks factory, uh, just by the, uh, the couplers and the way the cars are made. But like I said, the couplers will couple perfectly with Marks uh, plastic knuckle. So I'm not sure who made it, but it is very, very similar to a Marks train. Late plastic, of course. And uh, even if you look at the, uh, this little tender, as you see, the uh, coupler is actually mounted on a stanchion, just like the Marks. No coupler on this end at all, just a loop. But the couplers themselves couple perfectly with Marks plastic uh, knuckle. So anyway, I'm not sure who made it or when, but I found it really, really interesting. And the fact that it's O-gauge. I mean, it's perfectly O-gauge. And then the plastic track that came with the uh, box, uh, I can use that for running windups on.
In any case, it was worth the $5. Just wanted to do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrays at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.